Dear Diary, my mom always taught me that I have to make the choice to slow down and to enjoy each day. And as the Christmas season approaches, I want to make sure that I remember how simple that very first Christmas was in the manger, in a stable. I want to remember that it is truly all about Jesus. How are you doing this morning? Oh, you carried in wood already? The house is pretty cold. <laughs> yeah. Pepper, all right. Well, I thought about putting up and keeping this going, and I was just, I like, never moved. Honestly, I got up with her so much last night that I didn't even think about it. Like, you would, normally I do think about it. Right. Didn't even think about it. Uh, the bread rising last night is pretty cold, so I hope it does all right. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> we're back again. <laughs> so we're building the fire before we go outside so that it's nice and warm when we come back inside. As you saw, I just made two loaves of bread and two loaves of braided bread. Same recipe, just do it differently. So that way we can have sandwiches today. And the two braided breads are for gifts. These like little squares. Mm-hmm. That we cut off for trimming and they're like the best ever for fire starting oh cool that's good because it's red oak too so it like when it burns it actually it burns well you know mm -hmm. i guess the chickens are impatient this morning <laughs> oh whiskers you're doing a good job leading your ladies All right, so he is feeding the chickens. I'm gonna get some food for the pigs. And we're gonna go milk the cow and have a little chat with you. Got my Christmas pajama pants on. <laughs> In our next video, we are going to be giving you our medicinal garden plan we have bought some resources. We are making some plans. We're so excited about our next video. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Today we're gonna to be giving you another reason of why to have a medicinal garden in your very yard. It is so cold. I think I'm turning into frosty this way, man. <laughs> it is this is so cold. Look at the steam coming out of wood so. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm frozen. How cold is it? It's in the 20s, I think. Oh my gosh. Yes. Well, it's not good. Yep. It's frozen. The hoses are frozen? Yep. Oh boy. Leo? I guess I'm carrying a couple five gallon buckets out there to the, to the cowsies. The hoses are frozen this morning. So. We do have a rain system set up for the cow trough, which works beautifully, but it hasn't rained in a while. And the water's starting to freeze, so we have to make sure that it's breakable. Good morning, pudding. And we always try to make sure the hoses are drained, but if there's any water left at all that we don't know about, it freezes, which it did. Hands are cold, pudding. You go warm them for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh boy. All right, pudding girl. I've got some nice warm water to clean you up with. Here's your specialty.
Oh boy. Okay, she's all washed off and ready. Yeah, let me just take Simba's bowl and get him some milk. Hello, cookie. <laughs> Okay, so explain to us when you went to the feed store yesterday. We had to get more hay. We had to get more hay for <clears throat> putting in cookie. And I uh, swung by the feed store and was able to get some bales of hay. And while I was there, I was getting some uh, chicken feed too. And kind of popped in my mind was to ask ask the guys um, if they sold if they sold penicillin or any antibiotics for you know cows and 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 um, all the other animals that we need. And they said, yeah, absolutely. So I told them the story of how like I couldn't find my antibiotic for my tooth. And uh, they said that was crazy. They're like that's crazy. And uh, and then the main guy that owns the feed store was like well just so you know july of 2023 uh, you can't buy penicillin without a prescription so i said well what does that mean for you guys and they were like we're not really sure but it might be where we won't be able to sell it anymore and so i just thought that was like extremely crazy since it's already been pretty challenging to get antibiotics here lately and we've been hearing reports that um, there's a shortage of penicillin, amoxicillin, and insulin. So it's just, it's just kind of crazy that now, like, starting next year, mid through the year, you won't be able to get, you just won't be able to freely walk into and buy penicillin or not. What are your thoughts, babe? <sighs> we know a lot of antibiotics take prescription at the pet store, and you need to get it from the vet. But we do know, at least around here, that you can go in and you can get penicillin for your animals in case of an emergency. And not being able to do that, especially as farmers and people from livestock, uh, I, you know, I'm just thinking about the farmers who have been doing this for years, and then they go in and need it, and then it's not going to be there. And I just wonder why why is that changing now after all this time? So we just wanted to notify you guys so that if you need a bottle or two to have on stock for your animals, it would be a good thing to do. Cause did you say January or July? July. Okay, so it gives you a little bit of time. We just thought, because you know that emergencies happen on the farm, and I don't know about where you guys are, but where we are, it's extremely hard to get in touch with a farm vet. Like, extremely, extremely hard. And if we can, they're weeks out. You know, people gonna wonder why I'm in these thick jammy pants, Christmas jammy pants, and you're in shorts. <laughs> like, how are you not frozen? <laughs> well, my legs are cold, but... My legs are fine as long as my upper body is fine. We are a homesteading channel. So as we learn, we hope that you're able to learn too along the way. So we got to bring this warm milk in. Check the fire. So make sure you guys stick around because we are going to be making, we're going to be taking this nice warm milk and we're going to be making wood stove slow cooked caramel. Thanks for joining us again. I am making 
some homemade caramel with our raw cow's milk on our wood stove. I mean, does that say Christmas and cozy or what? So I have, I've added my two ingredients. So you have the raw cow's milk and then you have sugar. I'm letting it dissolve right here. Sorry about the lighting. Hopefully you can see me. So I'm letting that dissolve for about 10 minutes. And then I will add a half teaspoon of baking soda with a tablespoon of water, let it dissolve. Add it in once the sugar is fully dissolved. And then it will just slow simmer for hours until it's the consistency that we like for caramel. Now, or caramel, however you say it. Uh, now, if you're gonna be putting it on something cold, like ice cream, which we make raw milk, uh, raw cow's milk ice cream as well, then it, remember it hardens. So if you want a softer caramel, then you just take it off the heat sooner. But if you want it harder, even maybe like a caramel candy, then you just keep it on as long as you would like. Okay, so I added some light, hopefully that's better. So yes, I'm just letting this simmer down to where all the sugar dissolves. So this is just a regular wood stove. We don't have a fancy cook stove or anything like that. So what we do, or what I do when I cook on it to regulate the heat is just the size of the flame. It feels like it's fully dissolved, which has been about 10 minutes. So we are gonna take our baking soda water and we're going to add it in. Now it will foam up, so you wanna make sure that you have a big enough pot that can hold not only all of your milk and sugar, but the foaminess as well. One of my favorite things to do in the winter, especially around Christmas time, is to just take a breather, sit by the fire, cook by the fire. If you hear noise in the background, Nathaniel is making Christmas gifts out of wood. We cut down some trees, we're making Christmas gifts out of wood, taking it back to the beginning, taking it back to the basics. And we can't wait to show you what we have made, but we can't do that quite yet because we have to wait till after Christmas. But um, just remember that God has, um, he, he doesn't want you to just get busy doing good things. He wants you to get busy doing the things that he has called you to do. And that is not running yourself ragged and spending a whole bunch of money. And what it is, is putting him first, celebrating him, and then putting your family second and loving on your friends and your family and just relaxing, maybe sitting by a fire, making them something, interacting with them. My mommy always taught me that you have to make the choice and the effort to slow down. So much steam. This is four hours later.